Uh, well, you know, for many, it's a dream come true. Acceptance into one of the uh, most prestigious and oldest universities in America, Harvard University. But for these 10 freshmen, their dreams were dashed because they were caught exchanging images or memes in a Facebook chat room. Many of these posts were described as racist, homophobic, anti-Semitic, some mocking sexual assault and violence. The prestigious school rescinded admission to move Harvard's own professor of law, Alan Dershowitz, described as over-punishment and draconian. Harvard is a private university, technically not bound by the First Amendment, but since I got to Harvard 53 years ago, Harvard has committed itself to following the First Amendment, and I think this violates the spirit uh, and perhaps the letter of the First Amendment. Now, Harvard declined our request for an interview, stating we do not comment publicly on the admission status of individual applicants. However, the school does withdraw or does hold the right to withdraw admissions on a number of factors, a variety of reasons, uh, including that bring into question honesty, maturity, or moral character. Bill. Well, it's, it doesn't have. gets into a university to actually have that offer rescinded. Uh, for public institutions, it tends to be because of final grades, but for more elite private institutions, it tends to be for disciplinary reasons. Uh, we had a chance to speak with Rachel Blankstein. She's the co-founder of Spark Admissions. That's a Massachusetts-based consulting business. And she says this does not surprise her. She wouldn't be surprised if other institutions do the same, that this is not about free speech. It's about character. And a lot of these elite institutions do have a code of conduct. Bill? Wow. Molly Lyon, thank you.